Hi there, welcome back to another video. So I have a lot of wedding updates to give you guys today. It's a while since I've done a proper full-on wedding update vlog. I think it was back at Christmas time that I did. I know I've just done my wedding dress video, but I didn't really share very much about the wedding in that video. So I actually went suit shopping with Dom and his family a few weeks ago and I got some footage. So I thought I would put that in at the beginning of this video. Excuse the printer in the background. <laughs> Um, it's all go here this morning. But I also want to share today um, our wedding cake. So we got our samples through. We've been waiting for so long to get these samples, but I'm really excited. So we're gonna do a bit of a cake test this morning. And also um, my wedding invitations came. So I wanna talk to you guys a bit about that later. There is one more thing that I am waiting for. So we'll see if that comes today, but fingers crossed it comes. If not, then I will just kind of film it another day and pop it all into this vlog and I also want to share with you my bridesmaid dress colours and Dom's um, suit and it's going to be a good vlog. I really hope you enjoy it. I don't think I've seen many vlogs like this on YouTube so hopefully it's interesting for you guys but first things first let's go back in time and go see some suits and then I'll show you guys what we ended up with. <laughs> If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. So this vlog is a little bit all over the place because there are lots and lots of different updates to share with you all. So I thought I would share now the bridesmaid colour I finally decided on and I think I'll keep the style a surprise because I I just love to overshare. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it all by oversharing too much. So this is the colour we went for which is Auburn Moon and it's by a company called Desi. So if you guys followed from the start you'll know I wanted a beautiful rust colour. We're getting married in autumn and I thought it'd just be so warm and just so lovely. I had such a palaver trying to find that colour <laughs> and three bridesmaid dresses later I finally gave up and decided that I would go for this colour because it's just perfect anyway. It's a lot more, it's darker than what I envisioned but now we've decided on it I'm actually super super happy with the colour I know it's probably not to everyone's taste if I was getting married in summer I would probably have gone with like the beautiful like nude or like um dusky pink colour which is quite fashionable I feel like at the minute this is a complete wild card but it just fits with the autumn theme so I'm just super happy with it it's beautiful and it matches the suit really well as well I will show you my dad's suit which we are returning today for a different size bless him <laughs> it's challenging when you're trying to find suits to fit a lot of different people it's one of the things we really struggled with um, but I'll show you that now and then I can also show you the ties that we decided to get um, Don might do a fashion show. I'm not really sure if he wants to or not. Um, he might want to keep his suit an entire surprise, but I'll show you the suit colour anyway. I've just literally lint rolled this and I bet it's going to be covered in cat hair in about one second. <laughs> so this is the colour. It's like a really beautiful navy blue and it goes so, so well with this. This colour picks up so different on camera than it does in person. I feel like on camera it's a much more bright colour, but in person it's like a really... I don't know it's like a really beautiful like dark red but with like an orange tinge to it so that's the colors together and then this is another wild card this is the tie we went with which is a complete surprise for me I really didn't think we'd go for anything this extravagant 
I'm just gonna put this down because it's heavy. <laughs> so the guys have got this beautiful colour and then they've also got a waistcoat and matching trousers. The only other thing we need to get for them now is some shoes. So I'm thinking like a really dark brown, you know, beautiful leather shoe. Um, but I'm super happy with this colour. And the thing I loved about it, so I don't know if you can see, but there is a really subtle red stripe going through and it just works super well with the colour of the bridesmaid dresses. <laughs> I like the little details if you can't tell. <laughs> right, let me put this away before it gets covered in fur. So in the end we got the suits from Moss Bros um, and the ties were from Scopes, two really well known suit shops. We were going to hire suits and then we really really struggled to find a really nice navy coloured suit um, or just a suit that would be in everybody's size and would be available. <laughs> so. In the end we bought them and everyone's really happy because they are really beautiful suits but it's something to keep in mind because they cost a heck of a lot more to actually buy. So anyway the tie, I feel like again it's like coming up really shiny on camera. You'll have to trust my judgement on this one, it looks beautiful on them, it's such a nice tie. So it's got like a, one minute, <laughs> it's got a navy pattern and then it's like this shimmery I don't know, it's just, it works super well, so they don't match identically, but when this is next to the navy on the guys, it just looks so nice, and I feel like it really just helps to break it up a little bit. Um, fingers crossed it looks good, everything is a gamble <laughs> with the wedding, you never really know what it's going to look like. All I want it not to look like is Halloween. All I want is no bright orange anywhere. So these colours just like tone it down a bit. And I feel like the blue in here is like a wink, like a little nod to the fact that they've got navy suits. So we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks nice. <laughs> this poor dress sample, it's been to every single shop with me and it just looks worse for wear, bless it. But that is the update on the suits and the tie and the bridesmaid dresses, which is like, a huge weight off my shoulders. Things we've got left to do now are, let me think, get my dad a suit that fits, <laughs> important one. <laughs> shoes for the guys, um, I think my bridesmaids are gonna sort their own shoes out, they're both different heights, so I think they're just gonna go with whatever they feel comfy in. Um, and then Dom's wedding band we need to get, he's found a place in Sheffield which does a very specific type of ring. And when the ring comes we will show you guys, but my friend's husband, he got a ring from there and they just really really loved it. In fact, whilst we are talking about rings, I will show you guys my wedding band because I'm pretty sure I haven't shown you all since I reordered it, I had to exchange it, so I'll be back. So this is my engagement ring, if you haven't already seen it. It's a mosinite stone on a really thin band. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. And I absolutely love it. So it's white gold and then on the inside it's just got, oh, I don't think you'll be able to see that, our engagement date, which is just a really special thing. And then, got this cute little box. <laughs> and inside it is our so this was our promise ring, which Dom got me, um, which is just a really cute little love heart. It's about 15 sizes too big. I'll put it on this finger so you can see. <laughs> and I lost it the very first day I put it on, so that was a bit traumatic. <laughs> and then my wedding band, which is a matching set with this one, is just a half um, band because before I had a full band and the ring was too big and I realized at that point then that if I ever needed it to be resized I would be stuck so with this one if I ever do need it resizing they can just take a little bit from here and make it smaller or make it bigger they can stretch it so yes that is that I feel like I can't put it on Dom keeps telling me it's bad luck to put them on together so I will <laughs> show you it like this there we go <laughs> This is so hard to do, there we go. And um, that's what they'll look like together. Oh, I just love them. I'm not into bling, but I do really love this set together. My friend as well, she never wears her engagement ring and I just think that's such a pretty ring to just wear by itself. So yeah, super, super happy with my choice. Um, I'll leave the Etsy shop down below because I know I'm gonna get questions. It was from a seller in America. I think it's really good to be able to support a small business. I love the fact it's mosinite, so it's more sustainable. You know, it's good for the planet, it's good for the people. Um, good for the pocket as well. That was one of the main things I was interested in. But there is a lot of stuff around diamonds and diamond rings, and so I just thought, you know what? 
we'll go for the Whopper Stone. <laughs> it costs a significantly less price and it's so pretty. So the main difference between Mosinite and a diamond is Mosinite has a rainbow flash. It's not really doing a very good job here. Let me see. I'll film it differently. <laughs> so Mosinite actually has a rainbow flash and diamonds have a white flash. You can't really see it when it's not in the direct sunlight. Um, but it does, it is there and actually I do really think it's beautiful with the, the rainbow flash but for anyone out there who thought you could kid someone, if anyone knows their diamonds they would know instantly um, but that does really not matter to me. So our cake arrived and this is the company we're going with so if you're in East Yorkshire or North Yorkshire they're a really really great company. Not sponsored, fully paid for this myself but I just thought I would recommend where I can. So where the ribbon ends and just look at this box, I'm sorry but I am a, such a sucker for pretty packaging. Oh I just love it. So this is the inside, just got some little bits um, about them and their cakes. And this has got like the allergen information on and then look at this beautiful paper <laughs> i've been dying to eat these cakes honestly they've been in the fridge for a full day <laughs> so we've got white chocolate and raspberry we've got chocolate cake we've got lemon and raspberry sticky toffee chocolate orange this is my favorite <laughs> and caramel so what we did is there was a ginormous sheet of loads and loads of cakes i'm just trying to see if there was any no, there's not. <laughs> um, it was such a long list of cakes and so I chose six, Dom chose six and then I cross-referenced to see which ones you know we both wanted to try and then kind of tried an extra one each. So Dom's extra one is the caramel and mine is the chocolate orange but mm, we're gonna have a half of these each. We're gonna be so full. I think we're probably just gonna end up eating little pieces um, just to test them and then I think our cake is gonna be three tiers so in the end we're just gonna have to narrow it down to three which I think is gonna be incredibly difficult but we'll bring you along for our cake test. So while I'm waiting for Dom to come downstairs I thought I would just unwrap these. Oh I just love this little box. Ah. Um, it came actually with oh, these cute little forks. I just so appreciate the wrapping. I think it's so cute. So we may as well use these. Put these out of there. There we go, we've got one each. <laughs> Oof. Which one would you guys choose first? <laughs> Which one would you choose? The one that we both thought was sounded really nice was the white chocolate and raspberry, but also the lemon and raspberry sounds like it's gonna be delicious as well. So we'll see. We shall see. Give me a knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't know how much cake. These are big chunks of cake. I know. <laughs> Should we do it like in half that? How way? are you supposed to have space for six pieces of cake? Like, how is it? Like, <laughs> welcome to the vlog. <laughs> mm, hello. Um, By the time we've eaten one, we're gonna be full, and that's gonna completely affect how much we want the rest. I know. We need like a like a, a, a sixth of a slice. I think we should have a slither. So of get a big each. knife, a sharp knife, big knife. Yeah. I think we're gonna have a slither of each just so we can try them and then we'll enjoy the rest after we've made our decision. Because it's a very important decision. I am very much looking forward to our wedding cake. <laughs> um, and I think that, I just think it's a really beautiful thing and hopefully we'll have some left and we can put it in the freezer and it's a bit of a tradition. You will see there is no fruit cake. Fruit cake is banished in my world. Um, yeah, no, there's no way I'm paying for a fruitcake when there are all these delicious options instead. So we will sort all of these out and then we'll come back to you guys once we're organised. So there we are, we are all prepared. Dom's already licking his fingers. <laughs> so we are going to give them a go. We've ordered them in the order they were in, so we will Otherwise let you know. That's really refined and like restrained. First one, look how thin. <laughs> so like, so we get cake. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Okay, here we right, go. We'll start with. We may as well start with caramel. I think if we do the caramel, then the sticky toffee, so we can compare them too. Yeah. Then do the chocolate and the chocolate, so we can compare them too. Oh, I'm so we'll excited. The, is it the lemon and then the raspberry? Yes, sounds good. Right, here we go. I don't You're just know. going for the full. We've upgraded two metal forks. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it like this. So like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I broke it. Ah, no. What was this one? Caramel. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
It's really subtle. Mm. It's really nice. I like the, um, what's it called? Frosting. Mm. It's like a truffle frosting. What do you think? This is nicer than the one from the wedding fair that tasted like Werther's oh, Originals. Oh my lord, that was so strong. <laughs> that made my eyes cross, it was so like caramelly. Okay. Stick it off and ready? Yep. It's like a race. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> mm. That's really nice. Tastes like bonfire, innit? It does. I think that wins over caramel. I think it's more tasty. Mm. I think it's a stronger flavour as well. Mm. But it's like that cinder toffee kind of burnt mm. caramelly kind of taste. Oh, that's mm. nice. Sorry for the raw orchestra. <laughs> He's been asleep all morning. I'm sorry you can't see Dom. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> you don't need to see my eating face, I promise. No, he said he didn't want to be on camera eating, so that's fine. Right, next, there's chocolate orange and chocolate, so I think we should do chocolate before chocolate orange. Yeah, because... Chocolate orange is strong. I'm not going to enjoy chocolate orange. <laughs> right, so chocolate I'm really excited for the lemon one, I'm not going to lie. I know, I feel like we're just going to have a complete lemon cake. Good chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We're not very good at this, are we? <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't make um, judges on MasterChef. No, because we're comparing. So that's our first one. That's a good, mm. that's a good chocolate base. Mm. Okay, I like that one. I like the fondant ice icing in the middle. What's best is we've still got so much more cake to eat. <laughs> I like the orange. Mm. It's really nice. So I think the sponge is actually the same, and it's the icing. It's the, the icing chocolate orange. Different. That's really nice. That's a really nice chocolate orange cake. It's very orangey. Ah. <laughs> Dom hates chocolate orange. <laughs> I don't know how we can be in a relationship because it's my favourite flavour. Mmm. Oh, should we do lemon and raspberry first? So it's, yeah, it's white chocolate and raspberry versus lemon and raspberry. Okay, so lemon and raspberry next. This feels so um, indulgent. Mm. <laughs> I am partial to a lemon cake. Mm. That's gorgeous. It's so refreshing. It's really nice. Mm. Really tangy lemon. Okay, so now we've got white chocolate and raspberry. Yeah. This is the one we were most looking forward to. I feel like you're going to find that too sickly. No, that's nice. It, it tastes mm. just like a raspberry sponge though. That's gorgeous. It didn't taste that, that white chocolatey. The, um, the fondant thing in the middle is more creamy though. Mm. I really like that one. I knew we were going to like that one. You, know, you just know yourself. I almost feel like that's a bit like a, Victoria, a raspberry Victoria sponge. It's supposed to be. It's just like an enhanced one with mm -hmm. the chocolate. Mmm. That one's my favourite by far. Yeah. I think so. I like that. And I like the lemon. Mmm. And then I feel like we should have like a chocolate or a caramel layer. So then it's just down to which. I don't think that we need a raspberry and a lemon one though. Don't do I that. I think it's me. like. <laughs> no, it's like. A... We purposely did that though. It's like a fruity one, a chocolatey one, and a caramelly one. Mmm. So what do you prefer, the lemon and the raspberry? Neither. I'll let them both. I'll let them both. <laughs> Pain. Mm. I think the chocolate orange is way too orangey. Yeah, no, the chocolate to orange. To that was just for me to enjoy. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Okay, we're going to rank them in order and then I'll show you what order we've put them in. So Dom's gone back in for round two. Um, so we have the first place comes to white chocolate and raspberry. This is still up for debate. <laughs> We're having a bicker. Um, <laughs> what's this one? Lemon and raspberry, lemon and raspberry sticky toffee, chocolate, um, caramel. caramel, and then chocolate orange. Which, to be honest, this one is like second place for me, but it comes last because Dom hates it. So <laughs> I hate it. We it's knew. A really strong flavour. We knew he was not going to like it. So now we're just having a debate over which ones to have so like i said we can have three unless we're extravagant and have four layers and then just eat all of a chocolate cake before our honeymoon <laughs> i think two fruity flavors would be too many so when we were originally ordering them we said we'd get like a fruity comparison a chocolatey comparison and a caramelly comparison but now mrs gert is saying i want both the fruity flavors and i'm like i just don't know if we can i don't know if we can do that that's not what you think Hmm. We've got a while to decide. I think we have to actually decide in August, but then we'll have to buy another cake box to test them. 
<laughs> okay, so we'll... I'm very full. <laughs> <laughs> we will figure this out, um, but it was fun to bring you guys along and I've been super, super excited for uh, trying these for so, so long and it is such a hard decision, so who knows what we're going to do, but I feel like it's going to be at least this one, definitely, probably definitely sticky toffee. Well, I don't know, because you know, like you said, it's a pudding option, so... Yeah, we do have... sticky toffee is too much sticky toffee? Because sticky toffee on sticky toffee might be too much sticky toffee. But not everyone might choose it, because there's also oh. white chocolate cheesecake, which is like this one. Oh, so that, that must mean that lemon is the winner, then. Okay, yep, I'll take it. I win. <laughs> <laughs> These three... Yeah? No, or no chocolate? I mean, that must mean that lemon beats raspberry because raspberry is a dessert. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favourite cake. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll have this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> to be constant. <laughs> I was really hoping that the little wax seals that I've bought would have arrived this week, but unfortunately they haven't. So until they arrive, I can't finish off my invites, which is a shame, but that's just life. Sometimes things don't go the way we had planned, but this video is already really, really long. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that in the future, when I do do my invites, I'll make a video about it or include it in a vlog and bring you guys along because it's one of the things that I really wanted to DIY, mostly myself. So if I can inspire you guys to just take control of that as well, then that's something that I really want to do. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had such a fun time editing it, <laughs> especially our cake testing. Um, yeah, it's really fun to just bring you along and I love how interested you guys are in our wedding. It's something that I'm really passionate about. I love planning and so I feel like wedding and planning it's like a match made in heaven <laughs> but thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't already I'll leave my wedding playlist down below if you've only just met me and you've got some catching up to do but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all again in my next video